Choking can be one of the worst feelings in the entire world. Whether it's panicking in a fight, you're in end game and now you panic and now you end up in second place. Knowing you were so close to victory but not achieving it is a horrible experience. I mean, it'll leave you tossing and turning at nighttime, having nightmares, and then next time you play, you're literally seeing this image of yourself ending up in second, not winning the fight when you're in game. And now you're panicking every time you start playing. I'm telling you this because I've experienced this many times and I can definitely relate. Because of how common choking is, we often get asked how to prevent this from even happening. Luckily, for those of you in need, there are several ways you can change how you think, right? And how you can play that can help prevent chokes from happening. What's going on, guys? This is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And in this video, we're going to be sharing four simple tips to prevent panic and choking in Fortnite. Hey, I want you guys to connect with me as soon as you can, all right? I've dealt with so much anxiety. I've dealt with nervousness, fear, man, you name it. And it's my job, my goal is to inspire you to be the best gamers possible, okay? So follow me as soon as you get the chance. You know, feeling nervous and choking are just normal parts of human behavior, and they can be especially hard to overcome. There really aren't any tricks that will 100% prevent panic from occurring, but with good focus, guys, the right mindset, and by learning from experience, which is important, you can definitely reduce the amount of stress and anxiety you feel during a game, all right? So be encouraged. By the way, if you're looking for more educational Fortnite content, I highly recommend taking a look at the InstaPro Pass over at ProGuys.com. Purchasing the Pro Pass will unlock a wall of content, mastery courses, and multiple live coaching sessions with real Fortnite pros. How cool is that? Elevate your game today. Link, as always, is in the description down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what we've all been waiting for. I believe this can be a life-changing video. Here we go. Our first tip when it comes to preventing chokes is to avoid focusing on what you can't control. Throughout the match, you're going to get into scenarios you have no real control over. Things like bad loot in your chest, crappy zone RNG, and even the occasional lag spike. Who hates that? If you dwell too long on these uncontrollable situations, you're just going to end up getting nervous and start thinking negatively. With negative thoughts, you just end up doubting yourself, then it just gets worse and it just makes your performance horrible. You know, I used to deal with anxiety to the point where I felt pain on the left side of my body. Every single time, every single time I would start getting anxious, my body would just start feeling the pain, the physical pain, and I would just freak out. But when I just learned that I couldn't control everything, I began to just let it go. So I just let it go. And then I just started getting peace, like seriously in my body. And I literally got breakthrough with anxiety. And I just want to encourage you today, just let go, just relax, take a deep breath and just understand you can't control everything. And the battle starts in your mind. So when you're playing, while it's okay to still react when these uncontrollable factors occur, you need to be able to recognize them for what they are, things you have very little to no control over, stuff that has already occurred and can't be changed. If you're able to recognize them as what they are, uncontrollable, you can just move past them and start focusing on what you can influence. Things like your next rotation, how you're gonna get better loot, or how you can just play out the fight to your advantage. A good player will never blame what's thrown at them, but will instead adjust their focus to areas that they can benefit from. Okay, so think of this scenario. You're running around, you're trying to get to the next zone, but then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you get heavy snipe, bam! Your first reaction from experience might be to box up and heal, which is the right move, but some players might still dwell on the fact that they got heavy snipe, and now they're just beating themselves up, and now they're just getting discouraged. Their thoughts persist on how it's an overpowered weapon and how unlucky they are for getting sniped. So by dwelling so long on what's out of their control by now, they freeze up and then they start panicking. So the action that you need to take in this situation, guys, is to be able to cancel out that thinking. Okay, don't freak out. All right, it happened, you, but you couldn't control that. And now you focus at the task at hand. If you don't, you just end up making mistakes left and right because your mind is all over the place. So when you get heavy snipe, you box up and you use your heels, right? But as you're using them, you should be thinking about how to deal with the current and immediately upcoming scenarios. Things like what direction the snipe came from, hmm, or whether or not the sniper is pushing you. If they do push and arrive at your box, what move are you going to make now? Do you edit out the back and go for high ground control, or do you have a launch pad you can escape with? So whatever the move is, you always need to be focused on the now, not the past. You got to get over it really, really fast. Get back up and keep going. I love Kobe Bryant. He was my favorite basketball player of all time, but I loved how he would literally miss 20 shots in a row, and he would think the 21st shot was going to go in. You have to have that mindset. That way, now you can just shift your thoughts away from those uncontrollable factors and focus on what can actually be impacted by your play. The next tip, my friends, is not to fixate on the outcome of the match. 
A lot of players who panic have this issue, and I get hit with this question all the time on my Insta. Like, how do I make it? How do I win the game without panicking? I get to end game and I just freeze. I get that all the time, guys. I get that all the time from you. You know, whether it's in a regular or arena match, you know, you get to the end game, you get extremely nervous because the constant thoughts of the outcome of the game just flood your mind. The imminent victory or defeat screen just makes a lot of players' heart race. I get it. If it's a tournament, you know, a lot of players get fixated on the number of points they have and how much money they might potentially be winning. And I'm gonna be honest, you're human. That's that's just that's just pretty normal to act that way. Our brains like to head in those directions and get us thinking about results when they even they haven't even happened yet. But it's not a good thing because it makes focusing on the moment so much more harder. Okay, so just to help explain what we mean. Let's talk about the science behind psychology. All right, I don't want to lose you. Let's just pretend this is summer camp with your guy, your Frankie Fountain, all right? You're not in school, all right? There was a study done in the 80s where a psychologist had participants play a simple game of guiding a ball into a hole. That's easy, right? We can all do that. So the participants did really well in the experiment at first, but didn't do so well when they were told money was going to be on the line. When they were also told a spectator, a fan, was going to be watching them, that also diminished their performance as well. Participants were just too focused on the potential money they could possibly win and what the spectators were going to be thinking about them. Having their thoughts geared toward the outcome of the game shifted their focus away from the actual task and their ability to succeed. And because of this, a simple thing that you could do so easily got messed up. As a quick side note, Fortnite does actually have an option to turn off the number of spectators showing in the bottom left. So, if you're one of those players that do feel the pressure of players watching you, I get it. Hey, you could just turn off the spectator count and uh, may end up being useful. Other than turning off the spectator count, to avoid fixating on the outcome, you need to play as if you don't care about the outcome. I say this all the time on my Insta to you guys. Look, play like you have nothing to lose. And I'm not saying like play entirely careless or anything like that. You still need to play like it matters and adjust for whatever the situation calls for. Like you can't just get into an arena in game with 40 players alive and just start running around in the open. All right, that's just, that's crazy. You would still need to play really carefully and prioritize position to stay alive, of course. However, what you can do is follow up our last tip and shift your focus to the task at hand anytime you start to think about the outcome, all right? That way, you're not fixated on things like player count, how many points you're gonna end up with, or if you end up getting the win or not. By not fixating on the outcome instead of focusing on what needs to be done, you'll be much more likely to end the match successfully. All right, guys, so this next tip is pretty simple and self-explanatory, but we still gotta mention it real quickly. You need to stay positive. Everyone say positive. Yeah, and feel confident about yourself throughout your playing session. So if at any point you start doubting yourself or your team, which it happens, not only is your performance going to worsen, but you're going to increase your chances of choking as well. Guaranteed. To remain positive during bad times, you need to think about those moments where you succeeded and you came out on top. If you look at a bad in-game zone and think of all the times you got screwed over, those negative thoughts aren't going to provide you with the confidence that you need, all right? So here's a trick. Instead, try to reinforce yourself with positive statements and thoughts when you're in the moment. I know it's hard, but you can do it. So you got to have thoughts like, I've done this far rotation before. I could do it again. Wait a minute. I was in a bad situation just like this before. And I remember I made it out of that. That's going to help you way more than thinking, oh my gosh, every time I make it this far, I lose. Every time I make it this far, I start panicking. And then you start just reinforcing that in your mind over and over again. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to do the same thing. This time, substitute those thoughts and say, you know what? This is a new game. I've learned from my mistakes and I'm going to do better this game. I'm going to get further this time than I've ever gone before. And I'm going to win. And if I don't win, it's okay because I'm going to play again and I'm getting better and better and better. With hard work, I'm grinding. That's what it's all about. While it seems so simple, it's still so surprising how many players allow negative thoughts to ruin their confidence. And again, like, I get it because I, I was there for a long time. You need lots of confidence to succeed in Fortnite or really with anything in life, if you think about it. Thinking that things will always end bad, that's a sure way that you're going to cripple any confidence you had and cause you to choke. So think positive, guys. You can do it. I believe in you or else I wouldn't even be doing this. So you guys are awesome. You are great. But I want you to see yourself in that way. All right, so before we get into our last tip, hey, if this has impacted you already, I need you to send this out. You guys got to share this with your friends. If you know anybody who's struggling with confidence, struggling with like self-esteem or whatever, like send this to them. Like, I believe this is really going to help them. All right. For our last tip is to practice as much as you can. Yeah, that's right. It's simple, right? But practice. We know this probably may be like a whatever sounding tip to you, but you would be surprised of the impact practice makes on whether or not you get nervous. Think about it. Would you be more nervous in your first tournament or in your 10th? Well, that's a pretty obvious one. I, I hope you would say the first one. Otherwise, I think you need to be checked out. All right, so what about when you get third party? 
It's your first time experiencing one, and you may not know how to react. But if it's your hundredth time experiencing a third party, what do you think is going to happen? By this time, you've learned from your mistakes and you've gotten to be more successful. And by now, you have a much better idea of how to play out this scenario. The idea is that practicing under stressful situations will just get used to those moments. It'll help you develop strong, almost like autopilot-like skills, where you don't even really need to think about what to do next. You just do it. It's just natural. That's something that just can't be learned traditionally, and it's just something that you get with a lot of practice. Practice makes perfect, for real. You're probably watching this right now, and you're probably thinking, you know, I practice all the time and I'm still not getting better. Is that you? Yeah. You right there with the shirt on. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. It just can't be any type of practice, though. It has to be the right type of practice. So a lot of players don't get this. I get hit up with this all the time as well. They wonder why they're not improving. If you spend most of your time in creative working on your builds, you haven't learned anything related to the Battle Royale game mode. Things like dealing with bad RNG, fighting multiple opponents, and learning to deal with storm fights are things you can't exactly learn in creative mode. The opposite is the same too. If you only play arena and you haven't hopped into creative in a month, you can't be too surprised if you end up choking during a build battle. You haven't practiced enough to develop the ability to autopilot while building, which can lead you to choking your builds. This is why playing aggressively in pubs or arena is one of the best ways to rapidly improve at the game. The aggressive playstyle forces yourself into so many high pressure situations that you end up learning the do's and don'ts of Fortnite really quickly. If you're trying to improve at the game, it's a much better playstyle choice than a playing passive and just going for the win. We're not saying you should always play aggressive, but with how viable the experience can be. You should play a W key game every now and then. Just to close things out, let's talk about phase dubs for a bit. While many pros are really good at keeping their composure, we think dubs is a fantastic example of a confident player who knows how to stay focused. When things don't go his way, which happens for all of us, he doesn't think about all that went wrong. Instead, he focuses on the current scenario and what can be done. Sure, okay, he might make a small fuss sometimes, but he doesn't stay complaining for too long. He's really good at recognizing those uncontrollable factors that we've been talking about, and he knows how to shift his focus to what needs his immediate attention. Take a look at this example, all right? Dubs is playing pro scrims with Booga and Bizzle when suddenly Booga gets caught out and dies in a terrible spot. Booga tells them that they can't get the revive card, and so they need to play out the rest of the match down a player. But how does Dubs react to this situation? Hardly at all. He's like Steph Curry at the free throw line. Nothing easy. He briefly mentions how it's unfortunate, but he keeps his composure and he thinks forward. Instead of complaining, like some of us do, or thinking that the game is over, Dubs focuses on the next move he and Bizzle need to make. Later on in that game, they get into a fight with a really aggressive trio. That's something that would get on anybody's nerves when they're down a teammate and they're trying to play passively. Dubs quickly throws a mention or two about how the players they're fighting are dumb and how it's the waste of their resources. As we said, these sort of thoughts are normal for our brains to just tend to think. But the important thing to note is how quickly he moves on. Even though he probably liked to express his thoughts on the matter further, <laughs> he knows it's going to harshly affect his and Bizzle's gameplay if he does. So by staying focused on the objective of keeping the high ground and sticking together with Bizzle, they leave the fight up in kills and they get set up for the next zone. There were a ton of other good examples, guys, throughout this game where Dubs was able to stay focused, all right? Like when it was in-game and they needed mats, he was able to recognize that and immediately called out going for a kill. With that hard focus, he gets the kill and he replenishes his material. Ultimately, that high level of focus and confidence were able to guide them to win the match despite losing Booga early on. Just amazing. So we know that there's a lot of these tips that seem really simple, but they really can have an impact, guys. Though we can't express the importance of proper practice enough, it's just really hard to avoid nervousness and choking when you have a lack of experience. Practicing under pressure is the best way not to feel nervous, you know, when that situation occurs again and again, right? And we know that it can take a while to practice to the point where everything is second nature. That's why you need to also just keep a positive mindset and focus on the task at hand. Avoid negative thinking and dwelling on factors out of your control. Like I said before, I had that anxiety really, really bad, but I learned how to just let go. I just learned how to release. Don't think about the ending of the match, all right, and how you're going to get there. The level of focus thinking is what separates the pros from the amateurs. You guys got this. Keep going. Keep grinding. Hey, we believe in you, pro guys. I believe in you. Once again, this is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. We got a lot going on.